Hey, welcome back to the show. We are inside Lamina Jewelers, located right across from the Solaris Ice Rink. And I've got Carol. Carol, I never get you in the studio. We always have Maria. But it's fun to talk with you mm -hmm. in your location because some of the stuff, like what you're going to show us now, is stuff you can't really bring to the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, what, are we, what are we looking at? This is fascinating. <laughs> well, this is a piece of Clevelandite, a very beautiful, rare specimen. It's very difficult to find a piece this large and clean of gallery quality. If you look at it, the Clevelandite is the creamy whitish uh, layers here. Okay. Up above, we have the greenish opalescent layers, which are Muscovite mica. Um, Clevelandite is oftentimes found with Muscovite mica. Wow. This piece was found in Brazil. Um, just really beautiful. You can never find a piece this large. What a centerpiece to talk about. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's a fabulous piece, a great piece to have. And the perfect and thing to put home. that on, Carol, might be one of these petrified, petrified wood, wood tables. tables. Let's talk about these. These are, so, this is unreal too. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is petrified wood from the petrified forest in Arizona. Um, the petrified wood is real wood that actually turned to stone. Of course, it took millions of years for this process to occur. The forest was once a tropical area with lots of streams and waterways. When the trees fell, they were covered with water and mineral and debris. And um, there were minerals in the water which covered the wood and it's due to these minerals um, that we get all the different colors wow. in the Arizona petrified The wood. colors are amazing. Mm -hmm. We have reds and rusts and the golds and yellows and even the blues and purples which is very unusual to have these colors in petrified wood. Um, okay. The slabs are cut and uh, sent to France where our master craftsman over there will inlay them perfectly in wood. He chooses wood to match the colors in the petrified wood. This is in oiled oak and this one here is in oiled cherry. So wow, they're just... They're stunning. Yeah, they're really, really beautiful. It's only getting better. What do we have next? I'm going to shift with you now. Well, over here we have phantom rutilated quartz. So you can see all the conchoidal fissures in it, which create rainbow effects of light. Um, it's diffusing the light and refracting it to create all those rainbow colors. Wow. And we can see all the rutiles growing in the quartz. The rutiles are metallic-like crystals, and they look like needle-like inclusions in the quartz crystal. Wow. This is very dense in rutiles. There's lots of rutiles which actually make it more valuable okay. and more desirable. Um, it's a collector's item and then they also make jewelry from rutilated quartz. You can actually see the golden oh, rutiles totally in this quartz pendant. Okay, we have a little bit of time left. Let's go back to this last piece of quartz and from Arkansas. Well, quartz is always six-sided and if we come over here, Look we this see thing. this massive Arkansas quartz crystal. It's a cluster of quartz crystals. And if you look at it closely, you can see that every single crystal has six sides, even the tiny ones. Um, might be a little difficult to see Still. on camera. Wow. But I invite you to come on into the shop and you can examine it in person. Yes, this is amazing, Carol. Thank you. You're How, welcome. What are your hours here, real quick? Our hours here are 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. Okay. We're right in the center of Vale Village. Thanks, Carol. Good to see you. You're welcome. All right, we'll be right back with more of the show. We'll look at that weather forecast and a little bit more Good Morning Vale live from the farmer's market.